If you're bad at moving the arms when you're dancing at parties, this video will help. The moves that I'm going to be teaching you today, they work perfectly with any hip movements. So let's start with the lower body. We're going to do something fairly simple. And I'll show you two options. If there is no space on the dance floor, you're on the crowded dance floor, you're just going to walk in place. Just a little walk with swinging of the hips. I'm not doing anything specific with the hips. Keep them loose. They will adjust to what the legs are doing. What I want you to do with the arms is we're going to bring one arm up at a time. One, two, doesn't matter which arm goes first and you're just going to keep them up for a couple of seconds and then we'll drop them. So we have up, up, keep them bent, and then however you want them, just bring them down, not too fast. If you look from the side, I'm not bringing the arm straight up, but the arm is slightly bent. It's almost like a scoop, scooping motion, right? But don't extend it too far, because then it's not going to look right. So up, up, and then keeping them Bend. Now if we walk in place, we'll combine those two movements. We're just going to start with a little sway with the hips, knees are slowly bending, and then up, up, hold for two steps, okay? That's it. Five, six, seven, walk, one, two, one, two, and up, up, Two more steps. You don't want to hold the arms up for too long over there because it's gonna look like you're stuck. So just like two steps, three steps, that's it. Up, up, hold, hold slowly, bring them down. And again, up, up, slowly down. If you are comfortable with the arms, um, notice that I'm also twisting the body a little bit. I'm not keeping it like very straightforward. So you can allow the torso to adjust to what the arms are doing. I don't want you thinking about it. So don't think, okay, I have to twist and I have to twist because then it won't look natural. So if the body wants to twist, let it. If you keep it relaxed, most likely it will want to do that, but don't force it. Focus on the hips, on the feet and the scooping motion of the arms. Now, if you have room on the dance floor, you can also move forward with the little walk and then it will look something like this and then you're going back right up up and back as you bring the arms down that's an option Next arm movement is one of my favorites because it's super easy to do. We're going to bring the hip to the side, then the other hip to the side. It's like a little pushing motion. And then the arms are doing something similar. So notice which way you're pushing the hip and at the same time as you push, you're going to scoop to the side. And then you switch and then switch. Super easy. It's not really a dance move. With the arm, you just literally slowly bend the arm. It's just a regular bend. It's almost like the hip is guiding your arm up. See? And to make it look even better, once you get into that movement, look at the hand that you're moving. But not too many times, because that's going to look a little crazy. Maybe like two, three times, that's it. And then you can look straight ahead. One, two, one, two. Keep the upper body relaxed. Let the knees bend a little bit. You're not going to push the hip with straight legs, right? So that's our move. By your mistakes, you know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. Sometimes Before you get stuck doing this for the whole song, <laughs> let me tell you not to do that. Um, we're just going to do each rep literally like three times, maybe four times max. 
because otherwise it won't look natural. It will look like you're stuck. So if you, let's say, we have our first movement, remember we were walking, and bring the arms up, I would do it even just once, and then switch to something else. Four times, back to whatever else we can do with the arms. So you always want to mix it up, it will look best this way. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to put everything together. One more move. This one is super easy. Um, we're going to start with the lower body. I want you to drop the heel down and push the opposite hip out at the same time. For now, like exaggerate it so you can feel it. And notice that the leg underneath that hip that goes to the side is totally straight. So you're going push, 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 okay? Just like that. And then the hands will be on your thighs and we're just going to move them up and down. It's very specific, this one, because let's say if this is your left hip, if you mirror me, that means your left arm, left hand will be going up, right? And the other one is down and then you switch. Keep the arms relaxed, so we don't care where the elbows are going. And you have to experiment with this one a little bit, because um, sometimes I like the look with the hands open, and sometimes it looks weird, so maybe closed fingers together. So you have to see what you like, but it's literally just this action. Like you don't have to be a good dancer to do that. Just don't do that without the hips, because that's creepy. I think it's easier to start with literally the lower body, right? So start with the heels. Notice which hip is opposite to the heel that goes down and push it out. Out, out, out. And then hands on the thighs. And it's kind of like, huh, what, what does this remind me of? Nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Monica, that was very helpful. Let me see if I can do the opposite arm. You know what, it doesn't matter. You can do either hand, so you don't even have to remember which arm goes up when. still struggle with moving the arms like for example my student Susan that you can see here and uh, you'd like to work closer with me with my unlimited feedback for example I invite you to apply to my online program confidence through dance we will develop your skills and confidence to dance in front of other people so that you can enjoy yourself at any party any social event from like going out with your friends to for example a wedding you'll find the link below in the description where you can apply I'm looking forward to talking to you. About it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. You yeah, sometimes you fall. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video click subscribe to never miss a video from me there will be a lot more coming and i'm going to see you in my next tutorial bye
you, and you're off my radar now.